This video is an introduction to the script function in VizRT Artist. And if you're not familiar with the script function, what it does is it allows you to write a script inside of VizRT Artist scene to manipulate that scene. Now these videos are really just an introduction and hopefully will introduce you to the theory behind scripting. And scripting can get quite deep, so if you really want to know scripting, you need to know the programming language. And the programming language that this scripting function is based off of is Visual Basic. So if you go to Microsoft.com, you can learn a lot more about Visual Basic itself and even find tutorials there about how to actually script within this programming language. But to begin here, we're going to run through a couple of exercises just to introduce you to the theory of how this script function works. Now, if you've never used the script function before, it's found within the built-ins in our global tab, and here you can see the script function. So what we're going to do is go into our primitives, and I'm just going to work with a cube here. So I'm just going to drag a cube down into the scene tree. I'll just throw a material on it so we can see it a little bit better. And then I'll go back into my CP tab, the global folder, and drag the script function down onto this particular container. If I click on the script function, it opens up the editing window in the upper right-hand quadrant. Now it's here that we can start writing our script or our code to do what we need to do. So we're going to write a quick and easy script that once we compile and run it, it will rotate the cube. And to do this, what I'm going to do is just come in here and start typing. Now the first thing that I'm doing here is typing this. And this refers to this container. Since we have the script function on this particular container, it's referring to this container. So that's why I'm starting out by typing this. From there, we just need to identify what we need to do. So I want to rotate this, and we need to tell it which rotation that we want. So I'm going to say rotation.z equals 45. So this rotation.z equals 45. Now, when I come down here to the compile and run, what it's actually going to do is compile and run this script. So when we hit that button, it rotated the cube, and it also closed up this script option for us. Now, if we need to edit that, we can just click this little edit button, and it opens up the script function again. So instead of rotation, let's try something else. Delete that whole line, and this time we'll do something with the position. And again, I'm just going to start by typing this, and this time it's going to be position. So we'll type in this dot position dot x equals negative 100. I'm going to compile and run that. You can see when we compile it and run it, it shifted it over to negative 100. So let's go in and edit it once more. And let's try something else. We did the rotation. We did the position. How about this time we'll do something like scaling. So again, since the script is on this particular container, I'm just going to start with this. Scaling, we actually need to tell it which vertex that we want to scale it on. And since we need to take into account the X, Y, and Z, I'm going to type in X, Y, Z, and we'll type a number, 2.5. So when we compile and run this, it will scale that cube up to 2.5. Now let's go back in and edit this once more, and we're going to just going to get rid of this particular code. Now let's add one more element to it. So we're going to use this alpha. So now that we have the alpha on it, what we're going to do is start again by typing. So since we have the script function on this particular container, we're going to start out by saying this. And this time we want to manipulate the alpha. So I'm going to type in alpha. Now with the alpha, it actually carries a value. So I'm going to type in value equals 50%. And when I compile and run this, you can see how it adjusts the opacity or the alpha of this particular rectangle. Now, how did I know about this alpha dot value? Down here in the lower right, we have this question mark. And if I click on this question mark, what it does is it opens up a little bit of documentation that you can come in and review. So in here under data types and procedures, if I click on that, we can come in and here's the alpha. So here I can learn about the alpha function and some of the other variables or constraints that come along with it. So before saving the scene, we just want to make sure we hit compile and run. Then we'll just save it and we'll just navigate to the folder where you want to save it. And now every time you open up this scene, it's going to have this script attached and run that script every time you open up that scene. 